Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Starcom Unknown Space. Uh, I took a little bit of time, uh, kind of flew around a little bit. Uh, I'm looking to see if we can find a couple of uh, locations. I found this location down here, and I found another star over here. It's some kind of flying around. Uh, the rest of these are ones that we've already visited. Uh, so I wanted to kind of look and see, <laughs> but not knowing what I was going to find, uh, I wanted to wait until we were recording to uh, to uh, visit the places. Uh, Plans an antiquated freighter, hope breaks and weather, most remarkable aspect right here. These are old-fashioned Newtonian reaction drives that would take off half the ship's mass for fuel for planetary flight. Dust fragments are only remains of the crew. Translation logs. Fate. Scientists unlocked a great device. Its wills within wills have activated uh, uh, mathematical indications. Last only a few hours when they discovered that the equation that led to here only led to here. Uh, when supplies dwindle, they seem to consume them first. Uh, in retrospect, we have been less than punishment than our own. Uh, survey team. Solemn moments of memory of the ship's tragic fate. All right, so we got a little bit of aluminum, a little bit of titanium. Unfortunately, that is the only thing that is there. Uh, so in the other locations, I've been kind of looking around at places I, I didn't uh, search. I do have a few vehicle or vessels here. Uh, so we're going to run back over here. The, uh, most of these places have been uh, researched. Uh, I may have caught at these guys again. I do that sometimes because I get bored. So <clears throat> we'll uh, we'll shoot shoot a few holes in the low can. Cause that's always fun to do. They uh, fortunately they they're not really ready for uh, <laughs> ready for the ship, uh, which is always fun. Uh, so, as far as I can tell, uh, I visited all the other ones. This one up here is the one that you can go visit and get random items out of every once in a while. Uh, we do have a few down here in this bottom corner that we haven't visited. So, we're going to visit those real quick. I just, I'm kind of trying to clear up some of the things that maybe, maybe I missed something. Maybe, uh, for some reason, I haven't started the, uh, the battle or the war between the two, uh, uh, areas I haven't got embroiled in that yet uh, and I seem to be having trouble getting it to trigger I don't know if I missed something um, I'm pretty sure unless I never found that no I found the, the uh, thing but it didn't trigger for me to give it to the guy for him to play with the puzzle or I did he just hasn't given me the puzzle yet because uh, usually that mathematics is what tells me where that, that uh, system is um, so for whatever reason, um, I'm kind of stuck in a, uh, a weird location where I, uh, don't know where, where they are. So we're just going to kind of go around, make sure we have everything else picked up. I think I, I have everything, all the stations blown up kind of in a place where, uh, oh, no. going to start, start with that, are we? Yeah, like that today. That's fine. This havoc system is so, so much fun. I I literally have so much fun with it. Uh, I I'm just like I said. I'm just enjoying the game. Uh, I don't want to, you know, keep repeating and and doing the exact same thing. So I'm trying new stuff and I'm trying to I want to give more uh, more coverage to the game because I do want more people to, to find and pick up the game obviously the more people that pick up the game uh, greatly increases our chances of getting uh, more more uh, the dev you know being able to work on it more uh, are being uh, you know able to, to sell more copies of the game and, and stuff like that usually usually helps the dev uh, and uh, the more coverage I can bring to just awesome games like this, the, the happier I am. Uh, oh, okay, this is the, the carbon guy. Pretty sure that's the carbon. I like to be able on this one here, uh, 
Oh no, anomalies detected. Okay. Uh, cause I know there's the, the one that's all, uh, lava out like that, that, uh, where you get the, the large amount of car, uh, copper. I would like to be able to terraform planets and basically claim them for my own. Like, honestly, I would love to be able to, uh, turn this into more of a, a system where we go and, and build things and, and do stupid, stupid stuff and just generally have a good time, just take over everything. But that's not really what this game is, uh, is, and that's not what it's meant to be. And I'm fine with that. Uh, but you know, I, I like, I like the whole, uh, taking over the galaxy situation. But for today, we'll just do the for the survey team, probably another civilization that's been destroyed. Yeah, nothing of value. Not optimal. Not optimal. I like to find find big uh big stuff to uh kind of uh I don't know. It's more fun to find things than than not find things, I think. Maybe it's just me. But it is all story. Uh so and then I think with this guy he's up here. Get out of this thing real quick. Because I think those have all been researched. That one is not something that we're worried about. Alright, so with that we'll go back over here to this guy. Maybe we'll go back. Uh because I haven't revisited the, the Dyson Spear. Uh, since uh, we found those weird particles. So maybe we'll go back up there, check out the Dyson Sphere real quick. Uh, I'm just trying to check and changes and things like that. Unfortunately, this is going to be kind of uh, just a cleanup episode of me trying to figure out what's going on and find, you know, see if I missed a trigger somewhere uh, of, of opening the next the next door. So, trying to figure out where we can go, we'll go back into our uh, our jump portal here real quick. We'll go up, check the. Okay, you want to come play? That's fine. I have it. System is so cool. I I do want to open lasers though. I haven't really uh, played uh, in this area with the uh, lasers yet, so I'd like I'd like to see how the lasers work. We're already shooting missiles at me. That worked so well for your last friend. Oh, at least you guys brought extra friends this time not going to help him, but you know, good thing you brought him. So much, so much destruction, I don't even know what I'm shooting at anymore. Come back here. No. You mustn't escape. Oh good, y'all called in more friends. Oh no, my Havoc system hadn't recharged. May have to continue with the missiles the old-fashioned way. With bullets. That's gotta be just, it's, it's gotta be a hard pill to swallow. You have like eight or ten vessels that are all spawned in. They're like, oh, we're going to get him this time. I well, guess not. Oh, there's another a rocky turret. Maybe we'll get that one on the way out. And some of these may have uh, not worked from my uh, initial. Because I, I would go and visit them and then I get blown up. Uh, so not all these have been uh, visited. Uh, you know, without me getting blown up. 
So let's go over here and look at the Dyson Sphere real quick. See if anything new has uh, come from this thing since we uh, we found that weird weird uh, this thing out in the middle of the, middle of the uh, space there. So we'll go visit it. See if there's anything new to to look at. Oh, shot it by accident. Uh, leave the artifact alone for now, I guess. Just sending off a fireworks display just in case. All right, back to the flinger. We'll check out that rock place real quick. Like I said, mostly it's just me trying to find where the locations are that uh, if I have something I should have visited and picked up and I didn't pick it up. Oh, that's the, okay, that's the, the one with the, okay. We have visited this one. We just haven't uh, actually legally acquired the uh, the tech. I love how as soon as you start shooting off the habit system, they uh, they start going, "Oh, that was a bad plan. We shouldn't have got that close." I love I love that they turn and try to run. The best. Doesn't actually help them. It just makes me giggle. See if at some point we actually, uh, like I said, I've never actually get, and I know what's going to happen. I'm going to forget. I'm not going to be recording one day. Uh, I'm going to go out here and visit this thing, and then I'll actually, <laughs> actually get it to work. Because this is going to be one of those, this is going to be a watch kettle thing. Like, this thing's never going to go off with me watching it. Yay! You didn't get shocked at least. And I think I think you have to wait for a while to. Yeah. You have to give it some time for it. It can go back. All right. So let's go to this one. What we're gonna do is we'll jump down. Probably to this location. And then drive down here to those three planets because I haven't seen those yet. I think all of these have been all of these have been done. We're all good there. So we'll do this. Uh, we'll fly down to this guy. And uh, basically, I found this once I got the scanner open. Uh, it opened that it opens wide enough that you can scan the area around you and that star just showed up uh, so I was like oh let me go down there and see what it was and I was hoping that it was going to have a uh, uh, a waypoint that I could I could fly to but <laughs> it did not and uh, I'm having to still drive down there uh, so I originally was thinking about starting off down there uh, but then I would have just had to fly out. Luckily, as I get out in a way, fine, jump up there. So we'll fly down. Uh, we'll look at that. And then hopefully you guys, like I said, are having fun with this game. If you don't or you haven't had fun with it. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to do. I want to go in my options here. I'm going to turn the space dust all the way up. So it says, yeah, so basically it just looks like it's just uh, things flying across the screen. If it actually stays, it's not staying though. Yeah, I don't think that does anything. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to save it. Uh, so the... Uh, because I was like, I, well, technically I have an old system. Uh, 
my uh, my tower I built uh, seven eight years ago now I think. Um, it's a uh, but when I built it, it was it was top of the line. It was it was insanely top of the line. Uh, so it's a uh, it's a i seven fifty nine six or fifty nine sixty uh, X. Uh, that's overclocked to four point four gig. It's got six four gig RAM in it. It's got uh, I've upgraded the video card to a twenty eighty Ti. Uh, so it, it it does okay, even though a lot of games out there are like ah. You know, it, it's still it, it's a fifty nine sixty X. It's 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 a strong a strong system. All you know, water cooled and uh, pretty much set up to do do the bidding. So even though it is an old system, uh, it is it is still it is still doing work. Um, I'll probably eventually have to upgrade it, uh, but the uh, the goal when I built the system was that hopefully that by the time I needed to upgrade it, uh, that the uh, the, the computer would pay for itself and then pay for its upgrade. So uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, but that uh, doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> so we'll leave the transit in. We'll just kind of talk a little bit. We're almost halfway there. So uh, like I said, hopefully everybody's having a good time. Hopefully you're having as much fun as, with this game as I am. Uh, and I, I seriously, I want to say thank you to the dev for for building the game uh allowing it out there and continuing work on it uh there's a lot of indie devs that do really good work <laughs> and do uh just phenomenal phenomenal games uh and this is definitely one of those games if uh you want to know some of the other games you can go ahead and hit the uh the subscribe button and uh, on the page we have lots of uh different playlists we're trying to get a bunch of indie games out there. We'll play some AAA games every every once in a while. Uh, every once in a while, I feel like it uh, punished and uh, loading into a uh, a AAA game and, and having you know my money wasted. Uh, so, but I do those a lot of times just as a uh, that's that's the lot that I've taken on as uh, wanting to be a streamer and wanting to do things. Uh, so. Uh, that's a burden I take on because that, to me, uh, is is the, the what I've signed up for. Uh, so if you uh, want have a game that you really want somebody to look at and you're not sure because there's not enough uh, interest in it or whatever, let me know. Uh, I'll throw a couple of dollars at, at stuff. Like I I've, I've wasted a lot of money on on games and and literally wasted a lot of money on games. Uh, I have games that I bought collector editions for that I thought were going to be amazing. We played for three hours, and I just can't bring myself to load it again. Uh, you know, hell, I uh, I still have my original purchase of uh, No Man's Sky, like, but that game's turned into amazing, amazing work, uh, and I'm I'm really happy with my purchase of that one. I was happy with my purchase on that when it originally came out, though. Uh, I my original purchase price of that, and I still got forty hours into the game. And uh, so I, I I felt that I got my money's money's worth out of playing the game, and I've got back and played it many many other times. So all right, so we're we're down here to this location. Uh, I don't know what's here. Uh, I didn't I didn't look at any of the uh, planets. It's just kind of a cold call uh, thing. Hopefully it'll be worth something. That'll make this video worth it. <laughs> so far so far we haven't uh we haven't had a lot. Just kind of a couple of a uh, couple of planets that we had to go around and just kind of look at. Like I said, I'm I'm still kind of trying to figure out. Like it's telling me that you know, understanding the star lines are top priority. Like I don't know what else to do with that. Uh, the signal detected, and then the last uh, Tolian uh, brass fillers understand the remnant artifacts and search for more like it. So I'm trying to, to find more things like it, but I don't know where else to find it. Usually, uh, you get the that. Uh, item to the uh, one of the guys on the station and, and he he's like oh hey here's another location and it's just not doing it so I don't know if I've broken it I don't know if I've missed something uh, and I'm trying to figure out what I've done and some of this stuff like I'm still playing on Caspian I'm playing on Bleeding Edge you know unstable stuff oh there is a freaking thing down here why didn't it show up last time jerk face 
save me all the trouble. Um, yeah, so part of it is, and I flew by all these planets. No knowledge detected, thanks. I appreciate that. <coughs> that is awesome. I appreciate it. That's the best. Fly all the way down here for nothing. All right, we're going to fly up to this guy here. Now this one is is cool. It has a, a twin stars that are really close to each other. It look it looks really cool. I, I kind of wanted to fly between them, but I didn't want to blow up. So there was that because not not blowing up is a, is a thing, you know. Well, you know, I, I like setting my ship on fire because you know it's it's just what we do. Now that we have a shield, though, it's going to be harder to set our ship on fire. I think. I'm sure I'll still manage it. I'm really good at it. Anything? Deploy the survey team. Lander touches down. Permanent, uh, permanent Terminator of the Dead World. Temperature mix is right to allow the planet to capture the Honda State Railroad with a neutronium being bladed from the star's interiors. Really? And we got one. That's, that's grateful. I like how the, uh, the survey team blew closer to the suns. Here, we'll, we'll fly up there real quick. It is cool. They are, they, the two suns are really, well, obviously with this, this view, they're really close. But I go, oh, hey, that's, that's, that does it. Red giant star and, and like we're already, like that's how, like that close and we're already catching on fire. And then you have the other, the other star. So it's, that's a cool, a cool look at least. So we'll go down here to the other. Uh... Hey, can you guys put the ship out? Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't have a, a video where we don't set the ship on at least a little fire. Come on. You know how it goes by now. If I can set it on fire, I'm gonna do it. I figure honestly, if if you're not setting your ship on fire, then you're not pushing the limits enough, and you probably you probably should push a little harder. Just kind of let you know, you know, that you're still alive when you feel the heat. All right, let's see. Let's another scan here. Anything? No anomaly. So that's, uh, so I come all the way down here, that entire trip, one little piece of neutron. So that, that was helpful. All right, so there's nothing else down here. So like I said, I don't know, like I've, I've broken something. I, I don't know what I've done. Um... I, I've missed something somewhere. Uh, I haven't found the ring world. I haven't found uh, the other, the, the two races that are angry with each other. Um, like, uh, so I, I'm missing, missing things. I know there's more stuff out there, but I haven't, I don't know what I've done to break something. Because um, obviously we've done it before. We, we played through that, played through the things before so uh i have i have broken something so we'll run up back up to the space station real quick see if i missed a missed something at the space station which which i have done before uh i i have missed cues at the space station so we'll go down here Go ahead, Doc. All right, come to you. Uh, especially well-rounded crew. Uh, what skills should I focus on? All right, whatever. What do you know? You just run a space station. Dr. Rama, he's not giving us anything. Milton, uh, yes, I want to go over ship design. Okay. Uh, explain the ship's energy system. Anything good? Uh, I don't see. Even trade. All right. Uh, so there's nothing there either. By the way, I did not need a refresher on that. 
Oh, you, oh, Avery, you're going to be, you guys need to, to, to learn when to, yeah, so I don't know, I, I'm just, I don't know if I'm missing something, um, I am obviously, obviously I have missed something somewhere, um, Is everything everything I can tell has been done, other than me just striking out and hoping to run into stuff. Uh, but the problem is, is it looks like a lot of things have moved, so it's not really helpful. Um, I don't think. Uh, all right. So with that, we're going to go back in. We'll look at uh, research real quick. We got 295 points. Uh, the cruiser hull is going to take 500. And even if, like, I would like to get, well, actually, we can get the uh, module logistics, and that will give us 10 more hexes. We're going to go ahead and take that, because that gives us more more stuff we can put on our ship. Um, the rest of the stuff I think we're doing okay with. Um, I don't want to do fixed guns. I don't want to do missiles. So this is lasers, I think, is the only technology I don't have yet. And I would like to open lasers. Um, I like more speed, too, but... Yeah, so I don't see a lot of other stuff in here. We'll just kind of sit on those points. I, I guess uh, we'll go and look at our ship real quick, shipyard. Um, so we have those. Uh, we'll do propulsion. Do that, we'll get us a little bit more speed that way. Maybe do us a armor. Like that. Do a little bit of propulsion here. Stick two more engines in the back of this thing. See if we can get us a little bit more speed. And then I think I'll just let it run like that for now. Uh, that way it will just get us a little bit more speed. So that should, yeah, that, that helped us go a little faster. And once we get away from this stuff, it'll, it'll even go faster. So, I, yeah, and, yeah, you can help me by telling me where to go. That's, that, because right now I, I don't know. Uh, we can go back up here. This is the only thing I have left to really look at, um, because this planet being blown up and that is something that that have they have added is like there's a lot of planets that have been blown up and, and ring gates and stuff like the red raiders seem like they've been uh they've been very very busy blowing things up uh i will say the havoc system is great for mining also uh as you can just kind of <laughs> i don't think this is a uh, what was meant how the system was meant to be used, but it is <laughs> glorious for fun. So if you uh, if you're trying to figure out how to how to clear a large uh, asteroid field, uh, it does really well at it. So uh, I don't know if there'll be more stuff down here. Uh, and all I can kind of really do is fly through and look. Because I know there are some stuff that, that falls from, uh, sometimes we get, uh, research stuff from here, artifacts and things. But they don't seem to be a lot of large artifacts. And it's, it's kind of like, uh, civiliza a civilization that was destroyed. Yeah, okay, there's a blue, you know, left sphere. So I don't know if maybe there's just some stuff that I missed. 
So, but uh, flying through here, uh, there is some things that you can pick up. So that if you need uh, a couple of, and it's not a lot of research points here, and it's not a lot of stuff to pick up things. Uh, but you can pick up a few items. And if nothing else, you can get some some ore to be able to to, uh, to trade for things that you need. So if you're if you're looking for a place to uh, kind of get ahead of the uh, the curve there, like I said, having the habit system helps quite. A All right, so uh, that is it for that. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, questions, comments, concerns, uh, please feel free to address those down below. I do my best to try to make sure I, I answer uh, all the comments that people are uh, put down there. Uh, unless you're trying to, you know, convince people to go to your scam website. Uh, and then those get deleted. Uh, so, uh, please don't... Uh, Somebody's trying to get you to go to their site and trying to sell you something by watching YouTube videos. Not a good plan. Uh, I've had a, a few of those kind of show up of people, you know, uh, doing doing those things, and it's uh, that shit. It, it's always it's always a scam. It's always uh, somebody just trying to uh, separate you from your from your money. And. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, your money is your money. You do with it as you please. But uh, those systems are always get rich quick. Anybody that's trying to tell you that, you know, if you send them X amount of money and then uh, in, in six months, you know, they'll teach you a system that will, will make make you, you know, double your money or triple your money. Uh, well, the problem is, is why the hell would they ever share that information with you through a YouTube video open? And uh, obviously the only way to uh, for that system to work is uh, for you to convince other people that you're going to teach them the same system and then have them send you money. Uh, which is the only way that you make money and stuff like that. Uh, so it's, it's all scams. It's all garbage. Uh, don't don't listen to it. And uh, that stuff seems to run rampant here on, uh, on the old uh, YouTube. So, like I said, I try to delete those as soon as I find them. Uh, but uh, just kind of be aware of them go from there so with that we will let you guys go uh and as always thank you guys for the support uh the channels is growing and i'm, I'm really happy with it uh i'm gonna be planning i'm putting more and more work into it and trying my best to get more and more uh videos out there uh if you have uh, a game or something that you think that you'd like to see uh me go blow up a ship in uh feel free to throw that in the comments also and we'll look and see what we can come up with but with that, we'll let you guys go, and we'll talk to you all soon.